Oh, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Anime Review, the series where I review anime that I'm currently watching or have watched in the past. Um, today's episode, uh, so it's episode 3, um, we're reviewing One Punch Man Season 1. Um, you guys know how this works, I've been doing it for a little bit now. Um, I'm surprised, I'm doing it week by week, so we're only on episode 3. Um, which, and it's been like a month since the first episode, um, because I took a week off for vacation, but we're back at it again. Um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to discuss is One Punch Man, at least season one's amazing opening. Um, it's called The Hero, I believe. Um, yeah, no, that, that opening is one of the greatest anime openings of all time. Like, if you haven't heard it, which I don't know why you haven't, you need to listen to it. Um, it's great. So, that's the first thing. Kind of a small one. Um, that's one of the things that I like. Um, number two is the large variety of characters. Now, when it comes to different anime, that's probably the biggest thing for me, is the good characters and stuff. Uh, that's why I like shows like My Hero Academia or uh, Seven Deadly Sins. It's just the different um, unique characters. Um, and just, um, um, what is it? Uh, One Punch Man is very similar to uh, My Hero Academia in that sense. Because they're both about superheroes and they both have like um, a lot of different characters with various different abilities and whatnot. So yeah, um has a lot that you see in that first season um like just to throw a few out there there's like Saitama there's Genos um Tornado um who else like uh Bang um I can't remember it's been a minute since I've seen the show but those are just the ones that I remember oh yeah Moomin Rider um, of course, you have, like, Boros at the end. Um, but, yeah, and the the one gorilla dude. Or not gorilla. Was he a gorilla? No, it was, like, the lion dude or whatever. I remember him. But, yeah, no. Um, yeah, definitely amazing uh, characters. Um, I'm, I haven't seen season two yet, but I'm guessing you get to see a lot more of them later on. But, yeah. Another thing that also has to do with the characters is uh, Saitama. Uh, he is hilarious, like, he's just so freaking powerful that he just doesn't care about anything, um, but it's kind of funny in scenes with, um, like, uh, because he's so powerful, there's this one scene, um, I think it was, like, with the mosquitoes and stuff, um, he's trying to catch this one mosquito, but he can't do it, but it's funny because we've seen him, like, fight so many super powerful opponents and like utterly destroy them and he can't catch a single like mosquito other than like and he also makes funny jokes and stuff overall the show is just hilarious um another thing another one of my favorite characters is genos um the cyborg dude he's great um he's not really funny um but he's just awesome all around because his power is cool um, and he just gives off that vibe. He's a cool character. So yeah, those are the things that have to do with characters that I really like about the show. Next up, we have the fight scenes. Now, in my opinion, this show has some of the coolest fight scenes in all of anime. Like, um, not only is it they do it well because it's animated well, but also, uh, this goes into the next one. It's just a large destruction scale. And I've talked about this with other shows, or other show, um, if you saw the first episode, I talked about Seven Deadly Sins, just the destruction scale, like, in this show even more so, like, I think it was in the first episode, or second episode, with just that giant dude, and he's just stepping on, like, um, like, different buildings, like, he's, if you've seen, like, the Titans from Attack on Titan, this guy is, like, way bigger than any of those. Um, because he's just, like, his feet, or, like, a single foot is, like, an entire city block. Like, even, maybe even bigger, like, an entire, I don't know, he's just huge. 
and then Saitama just like like one punch. Well, I mean, obviously he's one punch man, just freaking wrecks him, and it's amazing. Uh, we see this like happen even later on um, when Boros comes to Earth or whatever, and like his ship and stuff, it starts blowing stuff up. Or even like when Genos, when they uh, blow up the lab, um, we just uh, see just, it's crazy how much destructive power all the characters have. Um, and it's really cool to watch and super entertaining. Um, and like I said, it is very well animated. Um, like one of, like the fight with uh, Boros in the last episode is just great. Like it's so well animated, at least in my opinion, it's well animated. And it's just really entertaining because we know how powerful Saitama is. And to actually see him, like, somewhat struggle, you know, and it really shows, like, there is a limit to his power. Um, but then, like, it's really funny, like, when he does, like, the, the serious punch and he just destroys Boros. Um, yeah, no, it's just great. Um, that's all the things that I could think of that I liked about this show. Now let's go to the things I didn't like. Now the things I didn't like, um, there's not many because I absolutely love this show. But the first thing um, is that there's only 12 episodes in the first season. Um, like, I feel like it could have been longer um, if they had like did some more stuff and just, I don't know. I feel like it could have been longer, like 12 episodes is kind of short. And I know they did. it's not uncommon for animes to do this. Um, but I feel like it could have at least been, like, 20 episodes or so. Um, yeah. No, it, but those 12 episodes were great. Um, so, I mean, I can't complain too much. And the second thing I didn't like about it was on one of the characters, Tornado. God dang, was she annoying. Um, just a complete brat. But the, at the same time, Tornado is, like, a very lovable character at the same time. And I can see the appeal um, why people do like her, if they do, um, she's a definitely a cool character, and pretty powerful, too, but she's a bit of a brat, um, yeah, let's go into the next section. Now, for the score, um, I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10, only because, um, it's not a 10, just because of how short the show was, um, which, I guess, it's kind of, I mean, it's not their fault too much, I guess, but, I mean, if it wasn't that short, and if it was, like, at least 20 episodes long, I would have given it a perfect score. Um, but it's very close to perfect. Um, I would highly recommend this show um, to, like, anybody. Very clean animation. Um, for the most part, pretty clean subject matter. Um, it's hilarious. Um, the only thing I would say is that it's sometimes it's a little gory, I guess. There's, like, a lot of... Um, well, I guess fighting, but, like, there's a lot of blood and stuff, and, like, with the monsters and stuff. Like, in the, I think it was the first, may have been the first, I think it was the first episode with the crab dude. We just see him just, his insides just get ripped out, and that was pretty grotesque. But, um, yeah, I would, i definitely say, like, at least for, uh, people my age, or maybe even a few years younger, definitely... Uh, be clean enough to watch um but yeah no it's very good um and it's awesome again i can't speak for season two uh because i haven't seen it yet and i heard it's not as good um but also again that's not what this episode is about um but yeah like i said overall great show would recommend to anyone it's hilarious and uh yeah that's about it for today um, I would, I want to say that, the, um, I might have to change my upload schedule a little just because of school. Um, I just have, like, a lot of school going on. I don't go to school, I do it online. Um, but I have a lot of work to do during the day. So, I'm probably not going to have, be able to do it on Mondays anymore. I probably will upload on Sunday. Um, like like um yeah i'll just have to um what's the word I'm, i'll have to actually make the video on saturday and i'll probably upload it on sundays just so i have enough time to do what i need to do um for school work and chores and stuff and whatnot um 
yeah like i had said before the uh, schedules for my uploads are due to change uh, just because stuff uh happens in my life i guess um but yeah i'm probably gonna have to take a week or two off at some point um because i don't know if i said this in an earlier video but i am in the process of moving right now um so i'm gonna have it to take at least a week to be able to um like what's the word um like get situated and actually move into my new house and stuff not to mention pack up the rest of the stuff I have. I mean, most of my stuff is already packed up, but um, just, you know, you guys, if you've ever moved, you know what it's like. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Um, you know, like, yeah, I'd say like a week and a half or so. I probably, it's, I am, yeah, so there's probably not gonna be a video that week. Um, I'll probably do some sort of uh, like room tour or something maybe I'm not sure but there will definitely be a video um, towards the beginning of October um, but yeah so I just want to let you guys know but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and um, yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one